In this video, I'll share with you step by step on how to create Walmart WFS, Walmart Fulfillment Services, shipping plan, sending your inventory to Walmart fulfillment centers and get the Walmart today badge. That means that you're going to ship inventory to Walmart fulfillment centers and order come through. They will fulfill it. They will take care of the customer service. It's the equivalent service and com competitor of Amazon FBA. Hi, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com where I share videos, updates, and tutorials about Amazon FBA. I'm a seven-figure seller and all the info and updates that I share with you here is completely free. I'm not trying to sell you anything, so you're more than welcome to watch all the video and get this value out of it. Now, as we go through the video, if you find value in it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you also subscribe to the channel. And all links for everything I'm going to mention in the video will be down below in the description section. Okay, so if you watched my previous video on how to actually apply to WFS and you're not applied and approved yet, make sure that you watch this video first because you will not be able to send or create a shipping plan to uh, Walmart warehouses before you are approved, before you have this option uh, in your account, in your Walmart seller center. So that's the first step. After you got approved, that's the time when it comes to prepare your inventory and ship it to Walmart uh, fulfillment centers. This is big and huge news that were announced last year and only now it's starting to you know uh, progress and, and, and start to be available to more and more sellers across the US. Um, and, and, and from what I heard uh, recently, it's also in, in Walmart is accepting now international uh, you know uh, uh, sellers as well. So one thing that is really different uh, than uh, Amazon is that the labels, the labels that you put, the stickers that Walmart or Amazon recognizing each unit uh, in their system is through barcodes, obviously. Amazon is using their own barcode system, which is F and SKU labels um, or ASINs. In Europe, it's ASINs. Uh, for some of my items, some of the items are still F and, uh, F and SKUs. Um, and that's how they recognize it, whether you ship the inventory and they're accepting it, they're entering it into their systems, or whether they're trying to ship an order for like an item for an order that was placed. Um, now, the difference is that Walmart won't accept items that have the F and SKU labels on them. They want the UPC code or, uh, you know, any barcode that you provided when you created the listing on Walmart. So be aware, I did this mistake where I shipped inventory to Walmart with Amazon barcodes, with F and SKU. The lady that handled my case was so nice and they actually relabeled it for free. So I think it's still part of them really uh, adopting and really, you know, educating the sellers or now it works so they give it for free, but maybe in the future they will give penalties or uh, destroy the inventory like Amazon are doing. So that's a little intro about it. I definitely encourage you to apply and start sending inventory to test it out. It might be big, whereas right now, right now we are just before Q4, not just before, but uh, Q4 is really, uh, the preparation for it is really now should be. And part of it for me is to really send inventory, check these options. So uh, I smell it and I see how well this market is using WFS. If it is, then I can uh, be more prepared with my forecasting for inventory to, uh, you know, for Q4. So this is something that I test and check right now, again, to really see how much inventory I should order for Q4. And if it's working well, which I'll share with you the results, uh, you should definitely send a huge and big quantities of inventory to make sure it meets the demand. And now let's go uh, straight to the topic uh, of this video, which is how to create a shipping plan, okay? First of all, you have to convert regular listings into uh, fulfilled by Walmart listings. How you do it? And I had to go through all the help center and talking with them because there wasn't really any information available. So first of all, under items and inventory, you want to go to item setup and maintenance, okay? You will have two options here. You'll have seller fulfilled items and Walmart fulfilled items. So we're going to click all Walmart fulfilled items. We're going to click on add convert single items to WFS. 
and then <clears throat> it will ask you to do it. Um, for some reason on that browser, it happens again. It won't allow me to do it. For, there is a glitch. Uh, you'll be, uh, you know already if you sell on Walmart, that this system is very glitchy and, and, and they have a lot of issues. Another way to do it, I'll show manage items. Choose the item that you want to convert into <clears throat> fulfilled by um, Walmart. Once you go over the title, you'll have like three dots with more. You're going to click on it and you're going to click convert to WFS. It might ask you for some additional information that you didn't provide at first and because now it will be fulfilled by Walmart and it's going to be stored in the uh, warehouses. So, of course, they want to make sure that this item is safe. You're going to apply and add all the additional info they're requesting. Click Submit. Once you converted the listing into WFS, you are ready to go here under WFS and send inventory. Couple of important things that happened to me, and uh, you know, I will show them to you so you will not repeating those issues again. <clears throat> First of all, you're going to click on create inbound order. You're going to put expected delivery date. So if you ship it today and you know, let's say that um, it usually ships in uh, like it takes for the shipping three to four days, you're gonna put uh, Wednesday, uh, like a couple of days from now. Now, the second thing is to choose which item you you can search it and it will show you only the items that are converted okay so these are not converted but if you see here this one is that i don't see any message so i can edit okay now one thing that it will not allow you to continue unless you put here return address so we will put uh address here one two three four five Woods Avenue, uh, I don't know, Miami, Florida, 33182, okay? Once you put it there, and once you put the quantity, which is 80, let's say, and case packed, here for pack information, very similar to Amazon, you choose whether this individual pack means that there is one unit per carton or it's case packed. Units per case. 80 let's say then you're gonna click on submit order after you click on submit order <coughs> it will create an inbound order you can click on the view shipments and it will take you to the actual uh, plan or uh, send inventory order that you created you can click on prepare you have to click on prepare shipment and now they will tell you where to ship it Unlike Amazon, they won't allow you to purchase labels from their system, unlike Deliver, unlike all the fulfillment places that I work with, they all allow you to get subsidized labels. They are not allowed. You have to purchase it yourself, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. They give you here the shipping address. Now, to get the full address, what you have to do is you have to go to shipment and labeling. You have to choose here what kind of uh, shipment is that here it's small parcel of course you're going to define how many SKUs we have here how many with mixed SKUs? zero i have i have items like one carton with 80 units they're all the same so it's only one SKU. if you have one carton with mixed SKUs, mixed items you're going to choose how many mixed uh, cartons you have <clears throat> then you're going to choose here the label format so i have like a 4x6 printer but if you don't have uh then just use a pdf or something like that i use zpl i'm sorry And now they tell you where to ship it. You see the full address. So you take this full address and you create and you purchase a label. In addition to the label that you purchase and you put on the carton, you must put this. This is the same and the equivalent to the uh, you know uh, package labels that Amazon is providing you. Once Amazon or Walmart receiving it, that's their way through this barcode to recognize the shipment. Once they scan this, they see all the details that you entered here. And then once you get the tracking number, you're going to put the carrier and the tracking number and submit. Very simple, straightforward. I did it two times already, worked uh, perfectly. Um, it's again, a couple of things are kind of annoying here, but I'm sure they will improve with time. 
Uh, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you to understand how to create a shipping plan. It might be uh, a little scary at first, but it's very easy if you follow this guide. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe. It really allows me to reach and help more people. See you in the next video.